Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Keo Daikin. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to fix that emulation station crash issue. Now I do believe there are several ways or several things causing it, but in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of the ways in order to fix it. Stay tuned right after this. All right, so um, I have seen the emulation station crash issue only maybe once or twice, but I know primarily a lot of you have been messaging me and asking what uh, has been causing this to happen on Pistolero. And so we will cover that today. Uh, so back when I was making Venom, um, I actually never experienced this on Pistolero. I played around with it, left it on for about two days straight. I usually like to do that to see if there's any memory leaks whatsoever. Um, I do, I do do some decent Q and a on images. And then of course I also run the, uh, Pi Marquee script, the Supreme Pi Marquee script in the background before I released anything. So I had Pistolero and I played around with it, obviously for obviously what was it, a few weeks, few months or whatever. And then I added the um, uh, a, a particular theme to it, uh, which is this theme here, which is also based on the main Pistolero theme. Played around with it, but apparently it went out to the public. I don't know if exactly Pi Shrink causes this, but we're going to get into it. I want to show you what you can do to fix it because there are a couple of things. So number one, it is a, you'll get a message on your screen referring to some type of GPU error. And so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to go to raspy config. And once you go to raspy config, we are going to go to advanced options. Actually, it's not this one. I'm sorry. Let's back up. It is, uh, let's go to performance. And we're going to go to number two where it says GPU memory. Now you see the GPU memory here uh, on this is 320. So if you have Pistolero, I believe that one is defaulted at 64. So you may want to go ahead and make that at 320. And uh, this is how you get it. Now, for those of you who are currently having problems like, hey, Kiro, I can't get to this screen or whatnot. Uh, what you have to do is go into WinSCP you'll have to log in under root and then you'll want to go to ETC and then you'll want to log in under emulation station. I don't have it in front of me right now. I'm just walking you guys through it verbally. So you want to go to ETC. You want to go to emulation station. Then you'll want to go to themes and then you'll want to delete the Pistolero thing. It'll say uh, Pistolero thing. Uh, if you don't delete it, your Pi will continuously boot and log that theme in because I do believe that is the defaulted theme. So what you want to do is uh, copy it first and then move it over to your desktop, you know, save it somewhere. And then of course you can delete it. Then you, once you go back in and reboot your Pi, obviously it's going to boot up, but using one of the other themes, and then you'll be able to go through and use the setting. Uh, go to the Raspi config setting and then upgrade or increase your GPU. Uh, so that's what is causing that emulation station crash to, uh, on Pistolero. Uh, probably a little oversight, but the cool thing is I'm glad I caught it when I was working on Venom because I had Venom ready. And then, of course, I had to save it to my computer and then re-image it back to another drive to test it. And when I did that, I started having the same problem. And I said, wait a minute what's going on here. So I don't know if it's something through Pi Shrink, and this is not the first time I've experienced something when using Pi Shrink and uh, backing up an image and then resaving it back to a drive. But sometimes it causes conflicts. I don't know exactly what it is, but I have seen uh, Pi Shrink destroy some images or cause boot configuration problems. But you know, that's only a little speculation. I'd have to do some more research into it. But Again, I have seen where Pi Shrink and backing up an image and resaving it has kind of caused an image to go a little wonky. 
but uh, that is the fix. So you want to go ahead and address or move your GPU memory up to 320. Some people do 500, some people do a little bit lower, but I know 300, 320 or so is a great spot. Uh, that's where Venom is currently set. So I'm glad that happened when I before I released Venom because it had the same thing happened again. And I was like, this has never happened before. Uh, as many months as you guys have seen me demonstrating Supreme Ultra, it has never happened until I shrunk it and got ready to upload it. In fact, I was uploading it or I did back it up and had to cancel it several times in order to address that fix. So hope you guys found this information uh, helpful. That is how you fix the emulation station crash. Uh, or one of the ways I, uh, there, I think there are a couple other things that causes it to happen. So again, you will have to log in. If you are using Pistolero, for example, you will have to delete this uh, Pistolero type theme. Uh, Venom is kind of using the same one uh, using WinSCP, save it, back it up, uh, then delete it from the image, log back in. RetroPie would then use another theme and then you should be able to boot successfully to your front end on Pistol Arrow. And then, of course, you can re, uh, go back into WinSCP, re-add that same theme. But make sure you correct or uh, increase that GPU memory so that way that issue doesn't happen again. Uh, hope you guys are all enjoying Venom. Uh, I've got a lot of positive feedback about it. Hope you all are enjoying the uh, load screens, the customized soundtrack, everything else that it has to offer. I really, really wanted to touch on the attract mode, but I was worn out and didn't get a chance with it. But again, guys, hope this addresses a lot of your problems in the community. Make sure you check out my tutorial. Please look at my playlist for Supreme Ultra and everything concerning RetroPie. Uh, you won't find a lot of other reviews out there on this particular subject, dealing particularly with uh, Supreme stuff <laughs> or RetroPie images. So, but uh, I hope you guys all have a good evening. I got some more important news for you. Stay tuned, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.